What's up, my ninjas? This is another episode of Karate Schooled, and you are about to get schooled today. We're gonna learn how to do a roundhouse kick. Ready? Let's do this. All right, so first and foremost, we have to find our fighting stance. So if you haven't seen a previous Karate Schooled where I kind of go over the fighting stance and how to get in that, how to find that, what those are called. Uh, you can find a link below to the previous Karate School episode where I show you guys how to punch and also talk about fighting stances in there, but I will briefly go over it in this as well. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to get into my left fighting stance or what we call orthodox. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand with my feet shoulder width apart. I'm just gonna stagger back with my right side because that's my strong side. So my right arm is stronger than my left. We want to put that in the back and that's how I was taught um, in specifically boxing, kickboxing. Some people do it opposite, but I will put the strong side in the back so that I can generate more power. That's why we do that. Now, what you want to do with your feet is you want to keep them shoulder width apart or wider and you're going to line up your front toe to your back heel. That should be a straight line connection. All right. And that's pretty much it. Bend your knees, get slightly off your back toe, hands are up, elbows tight next to your body, hands are next to those temples, fists are closed, fingers underneath those thumbs. Okay. Always want to have a strong base and a strong fighting stance before we get into any striking. Okay, so make sure you have your fighting stance. If you are left-handed, it's just opposite for you. All right, so go ahead and find your stance, whether that's left fighting stance, right fighting stance, orthodox, or southpaw. All right, now let's go ahead and get into this roundhouse kick. First and foremost, let's break this down. The hardest part about this kick is the rotation, is being able to pivot your hips over. So I'll show you that again. This is the hardest part about this kick. Everything else pretty much comes easy. It is this chamber and rotating over. Watch this bottom foot. Watch what it does. It almost turns all the way backwards. So it starts up front. I bring that leg up and it turns backwards. That's the hardest part about this kick. Everything else is pretty simple. So let's break this down. I want to chamber my foot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my toes back. Okay, as far back as I can, I want to make a straight base here. Okay, we're going to be hitting with our shin and the top of our foot here with this roundhouse kick. Okay, this is what we're kicking with. That's our weapon. Okay, that blade. Okay, now chamber. When you chamber, you're going to bring that knee up as high as you can. Okay, and pick up that foot in that chambered back position, pulling those toes down. Okay, that's the first part of this kick. Okay, so let's just practice chambering in that foot straight down position. And chamber. Okay, the next part is turning over our hips, getting that foot to pivot backwards, and this is the most important part. This is how you get your hips around. This is where that round house kick comes, around, comes with, is that round motion coming around. So this is how you get that hip back and coming around, okay? So, foot up, rotate, okay? Reset, foot up, rotate. And again, foot up and rotate. And I'm showing you guys the back leg roundhouse kick right now. So the front leg is a little bit different, but right now I'm showing you guys the back leg roundhouse kick. Now, once again, foot up and turn over, okay? now. How do we extend this kick? How do we actually land this? All we have to do once we turn those hips over is simultaneously extend that foot. So I'm gonna show you guys as slow as I possibly can. Hands are high and rotate over and extend. And again, I rotate over and extend that foot. Notice how when I extend this foot, super straight, pulled back. Okay, and again all the way through, reset, reset, okay? Hitting that sharp target side of the face, rib cage, even down to the legs, 
outside of the thigh, this roundhouse kick bend can be utilized. Okay, so breaking it down one last time. Okay, knee up chamber, rotate over, extend. That is the roundhouse kick from the back side. Now the roundhouse kick from the front side is a little bit easier. All we have to do is lean back, pivot this back foot just slightly. It's already almost there. So if you look at my back foot right now, this is pretty much all the movement you need to do here. Okay, but you're gonna do it the exact same way. Okay, so that foot chambers, foot chambers, and then we rotate over. And again, chamber over. Okay, that's the front and the back leg roundhouse. Now, you're probably seeing my arms do a certain thing. This is what we call skiing. Okay, this is when you generate power with that torque, twisting, okay, throwing your arms to the side of your body. This is gonna protect the side of your face here, and this is gonna protect that body while you kick. Same thing here. Okay, so this is what we call skiing. This is what you do when you kick with a roundhouse. Okay, so it's an alternate way of keeping those hands up, okay, and protecting that body. Protect your body, protect your face. Okay, so watch when I throw this back leg roundhouse kick. You see how I cover my face here? One more. Okay, and the front side. And those are your roundhouse kicks, guys. That's pretty much it. So you've just been karate schooled. Hope you guys like this tutorial video. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments below what kind of techniques do you want to see next, and I'll show you guys. Bye.